to win the game in regulation. And now the Lakers throw it away. A 38-year-old LeBron is still carrying an NBA team. In the Lakers' first game of the season against the defending champion Nuggets, the Lakers came within four points of tying and maybe even beating the Nuggets in the fourth quarter, outscoring the Nuggets on a 19-7 run until LeBron was pulled from the game because according to Lakers head coach, LeBron is on minute restrictions. And what didn't help was Anthony Davis, who went 0-6 for 6 in the second half, leading to the Lakers losing the game 119-107. to AD ended the game with 17 points in 34 minutes, while LeBron ended the game with 21 points in 29 minutes. Anthony Davis, at 30 years old, was outscored by a 38-year-old LeBron who was on minute restrictions. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So it looks like, again, LeBron has the weight of the Lakers on him and has to carry them to the end, or at least as far as his body will let him. The thing is, LeBron brought in AD to become the main guy and to score the points, to play defense, to carry him to the finals, and LeBron could take a back seat and play his game. But it hasn't worked out that way. LeBron has outscored AD for the past two seasons, and AD has been injured more than LeBron through his seasons with the Lakers, even though LeBron has more wear and tear on his body than Anthony Davis. And if AD wants to pass the blame to his teammates, he could. LeBron outscored all his Lakers teammates in the first game, and scored the second most points in the Lakers second game. So again, the media came out and said AD needs to step up and become the main guy. If a guy generally averages 27 a night, you get 27 a night. With AD, it could be 40 and 13. NBA superstars are not like the milkshake machine at McDonald's where, you know, when, when it works, it's amazing, but it's about 50% of the time. That's typically how it doesn't work. That's how it works for, like, B players. But you get that with Anthony Davis. Sometimes you go through the drive through it's just not working. <laughs> and it's okay because he's given you everything he's got on the defensive end. And in the second game, he did, scoring 30 points. But when the Lakers needed to win, the ball didn't end up with AD or with Austin Reeves. It was LeBron who went and won the Lakers the game. One of five from three. Drives inside. Right to the rack. One of his shooters in the corner. Screen from Davis. Takes it in. James puts it in. Big plays by James. The lead is four. Ten in the fourth. 21 in the game. In the Lakers' third game, in a loss to the Kings, AD scored 30 again and had 16 rebounds and a good defensive night. But LeBron was right there with him with 27 points, 15 rebounds, and 8 assists. It was the rest of the Lakers who let down LeBron, all shooting well below 50%, with LeBron being the only Lakers starter to shoot above 50%. Somehow in each game, LeBron is still showing he's the most effective player on the Lakers. Prince is wide open by Fox, who's one away from elimination. Gabe Vincent to take the lead back. D'Angelo for the lead. I don't know if it's LeBron's leadership style or play style, but he continues to be the main guy on an NBA team at 38 with minute restrictions with people like Anthony Davis and what people believe in a rising star in Austin Reeves and D'Angelo Russell around him. LeBron is still the guy to score all the points to get the ball as the clock runs down to win the game. And maybe we'll see LeBron's Laker teammates perform for 10 games out of the 82 games. And for a week, we'll believe that someone has overtaken LeBron as the Lakers' leader. But by the end of the season, we'll be talking about how LeBron carried the Lakers to the playoffs.